Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? You ready to shoot? Yeah, I'm excited, man. Awesome. Well, hey, I forgot something in my truck. You mind keeping an eye on this for me? Yeah, for sure. Great. I'll be right back. What is this? 4570 auto. It's a 4570 AR. Try this out real quick. See here. Just gonna make sure he's not coming back. Oh, oh. Hey dude, is everything okay? I heard a gunshot and then I'm pretty sure I heard a chick scream. Yeah, everything's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear a gunshot. I, I definitely didn't hear a chick scream. Wait a minute, you shot my rifle. Nope, I sure didn't. No, dude, you totally did. You're, I didn't. Your nose is bleeding. What do you mean my nose is bleeding? Oh my gosh. You didn't, huh? No, I didn't. I didn't shoot your rifle, I, I didn't. Okay, well if you didn't shoot it, Raise your right hand and swear it. Raise my right arm. Uh, well, it's, I can't really move it right now. I did a lot of arms yesterday and I specifically just worked this arm and it's just, it's not working right now. I think now. you're lying. I think you shot my rifle. Look, dude, I didn't shoot your rifle. Your nose is bleeding again. The last time my nose is not, it's not bleeding, okay? You know what? I'm leaving. I'm going home, man. Freaking 4570 rifles. You're nuts. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and I'm really excited about today's video because I have something very cool to show you. If you've been watching this channel for even a week, you know that I love big bore firearms. I love big bore handguns, and I love big bore rifles. And that's why I'm so excited about today's video because I have something that I don't think many of you have ever seen before. It's a semi-automatic 4570. This is the 4570 cartridge. It is a big, powerful round. The only downside is this is about the only platform you're going to find in 4570, a lever action rifle. Now let me introduce you to the 4570 Auto. At first glance these rounds look the same but the 4570 Auto is actually a little bit longer. Also the 4570 has a rim when the 4570 Auto does not. It's been made that way for a semi-auto platform so it can be ejected more efficiently. And the last difference between these two rounds is a big one, it's power. The 4570 Auto is actually a more souped up version of the 4570, and here's an example. These are both 325 grain projectiles. The 4570 is advertised around 3,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, while the 4570 Auto is advertised around 3,800 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. That's a big difference. And the 250 grain round, it's advertised around 4,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. That is a heavy hitting round. Well, that's enough talk about the 4570 Auto cartridge. It's time I introduce you to the monstrous rifle that fires that cartridge. This is the Phoenix Weaponry, 4570 Auto. She is big and she is beautiful. This is built on an AR-10 platform, the lower and the upper. You'll notice this really nice flat dark earth Cerakote, which I think looks really good on it. You have this big beefy handguard. You have a massive muzzle brake on the end, which is gonna help you with that recoil. You've got Magpul stock, Magpul grip, has a nine round magazine. Doesn't look like it, but it does. It holds nine in there, it's double stack. And with one in the chamber, You've got 10 rounds of 4570 Auto. That's twice what you're gonna have in a lever action, but in a semi-auto platform. Has a three pound trigger, and we've got it topped off with a Vortex Strike Eagle, one to six by 24. I'm really excited to shoot some stuff with this. We're gonna start out with that piece of steel, and I tell you what, I feel really bad for that piece of steel. Definitely don't wanna forget my hearing protection with this one. <laughs> a little bit just a little bit <laughs> man that's cool so now I'm curious to how much faster I can shoot with the 4570 Auto opposed to a lever action. So I have a Henry all-weather lever action 4570 with five rounds in there. I'm gonna put them on that piece of steel, then we're gonna do five more rounds out of the 4570 Auto.
<laughs> Still a lot of fun. Now let's see how much faster I shoot with the Phoenix Weaponry 4570 Auto. <laughs> Pretty big difference. Okay, now it's time to blast some stuff. And you know, I want to start out with some cinder blocks. I've got this regular cinder block, but then I've got this thing. It's like four inches thick of concrete. All right, let's see what you got. Do the regular cinder block first. Wow. All right. I don't think the four inch block is gonna stand a chance. <laughs> nope. Okay, it busted up that center block really easy. So now I want to try this out. This is a 50 pound salt block. If you've never seen me shoot these before, they're really, really hard. Ah, be strong, little table. Let me give you an example real quick. We're gonna shoot that right salt block with this Springfield 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. I've got five rounds of 230 grain full metal jackets. Five rounds barely did anything to that thing. Now I'm gonna hit the one on the left with the 4570 auto. Whoa. Let's go ahead and finish off that other block too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I'm having a little bit too much fun with this rifle. And unfortunately, looks like we're running out of daylight. Judging from where the sun is setting right now, I can tell that it's about watermelon time. watermelon. <laughs> now we're going to line up some sodas. See how many sodas it takes to stop a 4570 auto. Place your bets down below. I'm going to go with five. <laughs> I think we had eight to begin with and we're left with one, two, three, Three? I think I was right. I think we went through five. Not a whole lot left of them. Whoa! There's the round. I can't believe we caught that round in soda. Wow. Man, that's nice. Now let's do the same thing as we just did with the sodas, except let's use red cabbage. Red cabbage. Two red cabbage. Three, four, five. I'm gonna say four. I think four cabbages. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so what did I say? We had five cabbages and I said it would go through four. So we got two whole ones. Oh, looks like it stopped in number four. Did we really just catch another round? But I think we may have. I think we caught another round, but in red cabbage. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Ah, there we go. There's the round right there. I can't believe we caught another round, but this time we caught it in red cabbage. I've got a nice little collection going on. 
So now we're gonna shoot a piece of steel. This is mild steel and it's an eighth of an inch thick. We've already shot this many times in the past so I spray painted it so we can see exactly where we hit this time. I'm not really doubting the 4570 auto. I'm pretty sure it's gonna zip right through this. All right, I got the piece of steel set up and I've got it set up at a slight angle in case there is a ricochet, it'll ricochet right into the dirt, but I feel pretty comfortable saying the 4570 is gonna zip right through that piece of steel. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for him, Johnny? I wouldn't have lost any money on that bet. It zipped right through that piece of steel like it was butter, oh my gosh. See how the metal's pushed out with these holes? Look how clean that is. Pretty impressive. Is that an eggplant? How did this get out here? Nobody likes eggplant. <laughs> That's gross. These eggplants don't normally react very well, but uh, not when you hit it with a 4570 auto. There's a hole and there's a whole lot of damage measure so i've got this five gallon water jug and i was thinking about setting it up long ways and shooting it and trying to catch a round but we've already caught two rounds one in soda and one in red cabbage so let's do something a little bit different with this i'm gonna set the five gallon water jug right here then i'm gonna set this in front of it this is a car door I've used this in past videos and I decided to bring it out here today. I went ahead and spray painted it. Uh, that way all the old holes are covered up. So wherever we hit it fresh, you should be able to tell. Oh. Got right there. <laughs> and that's why you don't hide behind a car door. So there's the new hole and it's a pretty big one. We zipped right through the back, hit our water jug. And it looks like, yeah, we went completely through the five gallon water jug. I have just enough ammo left to make two mags. I have a nine round mag in the weapon and then I have an eight round mag in my pocket. I'm gonna dump them both for two reasons. One, I wanna see if this gun will jam and two, because it's fun. Ooh. Woo! Well, no jam. All right, eight more rounds. <laughs> Man, that's awesome and did not jam. This thing didn't jam all day. What happened? Oh my gosh. The recoil knocked this bottom piece out of the grip. There we go. <laughs> There have been times in the past when there's a really cool gun that I wanna try out. I set my expectations so high and then I'm let down. But I have to say today is not one of those days. I had a lot of fun with the Phoenix Weaponry 4570 Auto and I think it's awesome. It's probably one of my top favorite guns now. I'm sure you liked it too. And I know there's a lot of stuff you probably wanna see like pine board box, ballistic gel, chronograph. Let me know in the comment section down below what you wanna see the most and I'll try and make it happen. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give it a like and if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button while you're at it make sure you hit the bell for notifications that way you get notified when I upload new videos also make sure you're following me on patreon Facebook Instagram and Twitter and check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website KentuckyBallistics.com again my name is Scott thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time <laughs>